Hi guys, this is Shaw. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for returning. This is a short video about these two nothings. Literally. The narcissist and the peasant. That sounds like it's a great title for a book. I buy it. <laughs> I'd read it. But, you know, more seriously, though, um, I was at work today when um, Mel did her live, her IG live. I watched it. I thought I screen recorded it, but apparently I didn't. But, um, you know, I, I, my eyes were welling up a little bit. I felt bad for her because this has nothing to do with the show. This is beyond the somewhat scripted reality show. This is her life. And I know there's a lot of women out there that can identify with a man such as Martel Holt. I've never dealt with a man like that. I've had some crazies. I've had a few, well, not a few, but I've had one guy that was like really, really controlling and, you know, lied a lot, but, you know, never to this extent. You know what I mean? I would be scared of somebody like Martel. And when I say that, I just mean that I, I most definitely wouldn't deal with him. And which... That's what she's been trying to do, but she, she got kids by him. It's hard to do, but I feel sorry for her. I believe on some of my, one of my other videos, don't know which one, I've said that she should get a restraining order, and she definitely, definitely should. Martel is a sick individual. I would not be surprised if he has a future of jail, in and out, psych wards, mental, because he is mental. He really, really is. And the courts have already ordered him to do um, therapy with the son. There is um, paperwork, documents, court documents circulating out there where is it's describing, I don't want to say the word, physical, uh, you know, you know that A-B word after physical, um, that he did something to uh tank you know um not so much as the girls but tank which is why he couldn't see them for the 50, 56 days which that's what he was harping on all last year at the beginning of the year i think it was january february he kept saying he can't see the kids or mail is uh keeping the kids for him he haven't seen them for 56 days that's why the court said no because what their son told probably told their mother and their mother reported it to her attorneys and her attorney reported it to the judge and the judge said no and he couldn't see him for 56 days because of physical uh, you know what um apparently tank got a spanking that wasn't pleasing to the courts or to the judge primarily and arian this sick individual, she's another one. She is truly, truly a peasant. If he ever never called her anything, a peasant is the proper term for her. This lady has absolutely no self-esteem, no self-worth. Don't know her value. I mean, because she has the potential to be anything she wants, just like any of us. Any of us watching the show, male tisha kimmy any of us she she has the potential to be anything she wants just like any of us she gets the same 24 hours as us but you know when you have a really really truly low self-esteem and you get hooked up with somebody like martel he's going to make you feel worthless and that he is the only thing he's your savior and, and, and she is definitely, she not, may not be born and raised in the South. I think she was born and raised in Dayton, Ohio. But she definitely has that mentality um, that she's identified by a man. Like a man makes her have status. And, and uh, you know, because Martel, once upon a time, when he was with his wife, he had the status and he had the money. So she felt like somebody because of him. And even now that he doesn't really have much, she still feels validated with this loser. Instead of going to school, well, I think she already has a degree, so they said, but she, I don't know what the degree is in. She needs to go to work, but, you know, I guess she don't have any money for childcare. 
and she can't even depend on um, her baby daddy to take care of the son while she at work. So she's just at home. She's probably on aid. Because we all know Martel don't have any money to give her. Not on a repetitive basis. He's losing his house. His house was, was in foreclosure. So, I don't know. It's, it's, it's sad. It's really sad. I wouldn't want to film with Martel. And I know it's going to be some fools out there in the internet that's still saying, oh, She shouldn't treat him like that. She's going too far. The F? I mean, are people, women, so blinded because he's handsome? And really, the way he is, deep down, the stuff he does, the ish he say, he ain't even fine no more, in my opinion. He's never really all that, but, you know, I I ain't going to take nothing away from him. He was cool, but mm -mm. when you that sick and diabolical and mean and deceitful, you 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 not you ugly inside and out, and so is a uh, peasant. Her little squeaky, <laughs> girl, he's been chasing me for five years. Who the hell is <laughs> excited about a man that was married chasing you for five years? How is that a plus? <laughs> Can someone tell me that? And this girl says this with a badge of honor. He's been chasing me for five years, girl. I took her man with my eyes closed. And he still ain't with you. I wouldn't even say that ish. This girl is sick. I'm telling you. Low self. She thinks she's doing something because she say he chased her for five years. And now he's not married. Been two years. Going on three. You got a baby with him. And he is all over national TV with another woman. And I don't care if he do say he's not involved. He's still not exclusive with you. Before it's the wife and now he don't have a wife. What's the excuse now? The reason why he can't be with you. I don't know. The peasant and the narcissist. The narcissist and the peasant. Let's pray for male let's pray for Mel and let's pray she get a restraining order you guys drop down in the comments you tell me what you think I do talk back